Hi, Raven Knight here. Don't mind the bathrobe. Um, I just... Okay, here's the thing. Everyone thinks that being an online marketer and being able to have the freedom to work anywhere you want is such a glorious piece of cake. And you get to eat it too. But let me tell you, it is really hard work to work outside in the sun, wherever. Because first off, you have to decide, like, what are you going to wear? Do you wear the pink sundress? Or the yellow and purple sundress? Or do you wear the funky African sundress? I mean, who knows who you're going to meet outside in the sun somewhere? You gotta have the right dress. I'm just saying. Okay, then once you get the right dress, you need to figure out the right flower to wear. This is very important. It has to go well with your outfit. So, should I wear this one? Maybe I should go really exciting. Go with the tiger stripe pattern and go with this one. Oh yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Dress flower part way there. Next, it's very important that you have the right sunglasses. Okay, so after you get the right sunglasses, the right flower, and the right dress, you have to decide what to drink. Will you drink iced tea? Or maybe some water? And yes, my water jug does say love and healing. Maybe you would rather have a glass of wine while you work. Because, well, you know, if you work outside and you're your own boss, you're allowed. Just saying. Then you have to decide if you want to wear a big floppy hat to help keep your eyes shaded when you use your laptop so you can see it better. And would you wear this one? Or maybe you want this one.
All these decisions. What's a girl to do? You have to decide where you're gonna put your chair in your yard or on the beach or at the pool or you know wherever you decide to work. Like huh, so many decisions. Okay, so then you have to decide. Um, are you gonna listen to your webinars? and your audios and um, your videos. Are you gonna listen to them out loud on your speaker? Are you gonna add speakers? Maybe you have outside surround sound or maybe you have to use headphones and you gotta decide which ones. You can use these cute little earbuds that go inside your earbud ear and they have a microphone so if you wanna use them to talk on your cell phone, you can. Mm -hmm. Or you could use these ones because they're absolutely adorable and pink with little skulls on them. You put them on your ears like this, bring this closer to your head, and you're all set. Plug it in, good to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if you really want to get high tech, like super high tech, you could get these ones. These are wireless. Uh huh, wireless. So you have two options with these. Let's just wait for the bus. Okay, if you really want to get high tech, you can use these ones. These ones are wireless. They have a little switch and you can you put a little USB thing in the back of your laptop or the side or wherever the USB thing is and switch this to USB and you're good to go. Or you can put it on Bluetooth mode and connect via Bluetooth. This will also connect to your cell phone via Bluetooth. So multiple purposes. And you can plug it in and if you're listening to something you can go and wash the dishes or let the dogs out or pee or you know do something else if you have to there's a little microphone right here mm -hmm. yeah so you put this on side the flower and talk if you want to talk and if you're not going to talk because maybe you're not on a conference call where you're speaking you're just listening to a webinar or something then you just flip the microphone up like that I know all these decisions but they also fold for easy storage okay so once you get all that figured out you have to decide if you want to work on a table do you want to bring you can bring one of those little TV trays you can bring like a lap one that goes over your lap or you could bring a little chair and desk type thing. I prefer this chair. The back sits up straight. I can put a pillow behind me if I want to be a little more comfortable. And the feet goes up so I can stretch out my legs. You mm, can't really see them. but And I can put my laptop down in front of me on there or up on my lap. Um, I can also use this little contraption, just just a box, and I can, if I would like to set it on there, I can work with it up here, like this. Now, okay, so one of the biggest problems that people have when working outside in the sun with their laptops is not being able to see the screen. So I'm going to give you a few pointers for that specifically. You can use an umbrella, okay? You can get one of those big umbrellas that sticks into the ground. You can make sure you're sitting in the shade. You can get a little umbrella like this. And I know you can't see me, but if I put it over my laptop like this, I can see my laptop much better, okay? So, for example, if I was working down here with my laptop, I put my umbrella over it and just set it there, and I can still see 
fine here. Um, if you don't have a funky umbrella, parasol, just take a box like this, cut it out. Three sides and a back. Now the best thing to do would be to paint the inside black or line it with black felt or fabric or something so that it's not uh, reflective. Make sure it's dull black, not glossy. And then the outside, paint the outside white so that it keeps it cooler. So it also will keep your laptop cooler. And then you just put it over top, like so. But it's perfect because I can totally see and you can move it, adjust it how you like. You could put little legs underneath to tilt it up or sticks or something and it blocks the sunlight so you can see your laptop screen now the other thing is if you wear black black all black clothing uh, it doesn't reflect as much on your screen so that can help you if you're buying a new laptop buy one that has a matte screen not a glossy screen it won't reflect so much sunlight um, I believe you can purchase matte overlay type things that may or may not help I have uh, not tried that so I don't know someone also says get polarized polarized um, sunglasses because that only lets in certain lights and you can see your screen better that way um, don't believe those ones are polarized so I don't think it'll help me very much but it's an option to uh, put your screen brightness all the way up to full that will make it brighter and easier to see in that that also uses more battery power so you want to make sure that you're you have an extension cord and an electrical outlet nearby if you're going to use that option so the moral of this video is working outside in the sun is not as easy as it seems there's many decisions many challenges to overcome so if you think that this is too much for you to have to decide things like what to wear what hats to wear what sunglasses to wear what headphones to use how to shield your laptop from the Sun what you should drink while you're out here then this business is not for you. I'm telling you, this is not for wussies. Do not join me if you are a wussy because this is hard work, people. It may seem like I'm having a great old time outside in the sun, enjoying the weather and the warmth and my wine and my sushi my little dogs don't have to sit in their cage all day but really this is hard work it's really hard work and this is serious business this is my job making this video for you is my job I am here for you this is not for wussy for wussies. Raven Knight. I'm here enchanting and enhancing your life. So if you're not a wussy, click the link below and join me.